As the fishing season approaches, anglers in the south will be rejoicing at the news the Waituna Lagoon is clear of toxic algae. A high abundance of planktonic cyanobacteria was detected in the lagoon in August, but the latest test results taken on the 13th of September have come back clear of the toxin-producing bacteria. South and Fish and Game manager Zane Moss says hundreds of anglers will try their luck at the lagoon during the fishing season. It will be open for fishing uh, and it's, it's really good that the algae isn't present now, the, the toxic uh, algal bloom. Uh, obviously we fielded quite a few calls from anglers keen to go down there and fish. They want to know it's safe to do so uh, and that the fish are safe to eat. He says the algae bloom is a worrying long term sign but fish numbers are up for the season. It does reflect sort of the continued purist state, if you like, um, of the health of the lagoon. There is obviously still too much nutrient in that system. Anglers will be relieved though that the cyanobacteria bloom for now has gone uh, and that it's certainly safe to fish. And there's still good numbers of fish in the catchment. We do spawning surveys throughout the year, uh, sorry, throughout the winter when they're spawning. Uh, and good numbers of fish there, so it, it will certainly be a popular spot on opening. And hopefully the bloom won't uh, reoccur throughout the season. Environment South and monitors cyanobacteria monthly as part of its normal schedule. Sharon Rees, The South Today.